wind up, go down, do some body back We go, we, we go, go left, left, we go right, right, turn it around and forward. Wind up, go down again. Wind up, go down, wind up, go down, do some body back We go left, left, we go right, right, turn it around and forward. My bestie and your bestie dancing by the fire. Your bestie says you want party, so can we make this place go higher? Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now. Hey now. Naspace, that was uh, Ico Ico by Justin Worthington. Wellington, wow. But completely butchered his name, starting off hot. Justin Wellington. How are you? Great, how are you? I'm doing great. That's Bianca, that's my wife. I'm Homo Scott. We're going to do some BCL tonight. Man, it's been a while. Why did you go closer? Do you want to swap? No, this the usual spots, right? Yeah, it's the usual spots. Is that better? We didn't really prep this. Is that good? Beautiful. All right, cool. Should probably hop in voice chat, huh? Is there anybody in there? They will be. Maybe let people know where that is. Yeah, we're in the main server. Um, if you do exclamation discord, under the live channel, I'm going to share my screen on out of the park. Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. So we're going to try to run through. Oh, this was me finishing up the sheet. That was Diesel's player. Oh, I don't know why I didn't save the. There we go. All righty. So we're going to look at the short list, which is what we always do when we start. And typically we short and sort by, oh, forgot to mention. So we, uh, for the first time ever, did an auction for a rule for VCL. We've been doing this for years, probably, I think since 2021, we started doing this. We always, we would sometimes stop and do rule polls, like in the middle of a stream. Just to change it up and pull the people like, you know, you want DH, no DH, whatever. So we did an auction that said you get to pick the rule no matter what. So his rule, it, surprisingly, well, actually, maybe not surprisingly, is turning off injuries. So we're going to confirm that that's the case. That should be under league settings. No. That was under global. A scouting rating. Yeah, it was DAC. Here we go. So I, I unchecked enable injuries. It's been saved. So now we're at the Hall of Fame voting results. I I, I guess what we're gonna see is every injury that currently exists on our short list. So our best player. Benny the Jets player, Ted Ferguson, is currently hurt for the next two to three months. So anyone who's currently injured, that will be the last time anyone ever gets hurt in VCL history going forward. So. <laughs> yeah, no, Dak said that his last player was very much riddled by injuries. Uh, Naspace want to confirm. Thank you for being here tonight. Going to confirm your player is in the draft. Uh, Ikaika Cruz, is that correct tonight? Looks like Hannah G is just in, so we're going to put in Hannah G's player real quick. It's a knock. Why does it say Cruz? I'm, I I had a feeling that was wrong. All right, I got to hit enter. I'm going to hit save. Whoops. <laughs> All right, now we got to do. Uh, we did Diesels, and then Project Saint is also in. 
Oh, you know what? There's probably people in voice. Nope. I got, I'm muted, first of all. And then confirm my. So did you fully explain how they can join voice chat and what happens if they do? Yeah. So if you join voice chat, you'll be on stream, which is cool. Right. And it's in the main uh, Discord server. Yeah. Main server. And then the voice channel towards yeah. the bottom of the list. I don't know. <laughs> it's called live yeah if you're with us you want to join voice chat please do we love company uh, we're gonna go and list all the players we're gonna add hannah g uh zakria zydeus and then project saints really crazy name that he always has we can't do nickname so we're just gonna do the first name last name but we're gonna do create fictional it's a first base Default, Kansas, so American, star, age, very young. Been doing this for a few hours raw, eligible. Now we just gotta check the name, Ernesto Ruiz. Then we edit to Sakria. All right, and that's Hannah G. Thirty-two. Oh, can't spell. Now I can't. Hannah G. Thirty-two. Hannah G. Thirty-two. Going to short list. I was talking to Van earlier, so the sh OG VCL was him in my ear, being like, "Short list, short list." <laughs> <laughs> Not to appropriate British culture. <laughs> It is going to be spicy YouTube upload. Uh, it's going to be great to see back in history. I mean, o October 31st, 2022, I proposed to you during a VCL stream. You're like, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> then we got married March 3rd, 2023. Is my player still active? I don't remember the name. That's the whole point of the sheet. If you hit. Well, I mean, we can yeah, we, we're going to look up Attica anyway, but. There's two links, one for the form, one for the sheet when you do the ha command. Uh, but we are done. Oh, wait. It didn't. Oh, sorry. It didn't keep energy. Not 42. Shortlisted already. All right. We're going to go to the next player. And it's going to be. So we're going to green this one. Project Saint. I'm going to. Do a closer from South Korea. Well, let me do S. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Player age, very young, star, raw, and eligible. The name is Dong Su Park. A fathead. Huh. First name, Min Huang, Huang, and Lee is the last name. Why can't you give Oh, no. Yeah, because your nickname, yeah. It's just how we keep track. Yeah, it's just easier. The nicknames are all the users, so when we have the short list and when we pull up players, we know exactly who controls them. And uh, someone actually had that idea for the main file. Make sure you do that. First. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Me and forgetting to shortlist. Name a more iconic duo. All right, let's check for Attica real quick. On the Serpents. A two and a half star. A dog setter. A dog. <laughs> Two-time champion. All right, I think we're ready to do a prediction. And well, let's get through the off season. Yes, hell yeah, dis yada yada, bleep bleep. I love big naps. I love big naps. Um, all weekend day and year and century. Um. <laughs> Has been created, but we left the nickname out and put the nickname as Sen. And we put the last name as Heifer Nanny. We'll confirm. 
Oh, it's not I Love Big Naps? No. No, it's uh, Bartholomew Heifer Nanny, also in the draft. This is actually cool to do. We can go to the draft pool and... Uh, I thought we had a filter. <laughs> that was his last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last name didn't fit. I didn't even try. Um, I just knew it wouldn't shortlist. Uh, I know. Is shortlisted. Yes. All right, so this is our rookie draft with all the infused... PBE players, it's probably one of the biggest we've had ever. Um, so we'll see where everyone ends up. Before we get going, I'd like to look at the index real quick. I'd like to go by team and by list of who has the most championships. That's usually a good indicator uh, of measuring franchises and how they've Ooh, performed. The yep. You said that's where my player currently is? Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, Maui and Sarasota are here. I haven't we haven't modernized them. That's on Enoch. He's he owns the main file. I just kind of wow. upload it. It's his server. Way to throw Enoch under the bus. <laughs> yeah, um, he provides the file and he's done an incredible job with the file. He mm -hmm. built it mm -hmm. from scratch and he he's did it. He's done an incredible job. <laughs> so I I I, I kind of like. I was kidding. Yeah. No. We yeah. we. <laughs> We make fun of Enoch a lot. Um, he has a player in this draft, actually. Oh, oops. Go back. Can we, can we, there we go. Um, yeah, most recent champions all came from... Wait, why are they named? Uh, champion, champion. Oh, legends and champions. Void, it's been, wow, how many in a row? One, two, three, four, Wait, five, six, seven, eight from the legends in a row. Uh, the Champions Conference, or they call it the Champions League. Sheik, no. <laughs> Maui's still here, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been all legends. Maui with a couple in the last four tries. Voyagers uh, got a championship. Looks like that was their first, second. Um, Sarasota's got a bunch, including like the fourth all time. So we're gonna do five seasons tonight. Um, let's get through the off season to the regular season. So do we get badges for winning this? <laughs> no. <What? laughs> um, you are allowed to tamper though. Oh, well, what? <laughs> yes, come to my team. <laughs> <laughs> To give badges. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're getting we're requesting BCL championship badge. <laughs> so I have to do five sets of badges yes, per stream. Listen, everybody gets a badge. <laughs> oh, what are we watching on TV? We're watching. It was Red Zone, and then the Bills Eagles game. Who ended up winning that? Obviously, the Bills, bro. No, the Eagles won. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got to get the Sunday night game on for sure. The Roku one, yeah. Yeah, congrats to the Eagles. Um, it would have been a funny meltdown to see y'all lose to the Bills. They've been not good this year. This game's over. Oh, there we go. All right, so we're going to do five seasons. We're going to go show the shortlist one more time. Why did that pop up? What the heck was that? There we go. Yeah, it was a long kick. It was like 56 yards. It was ridiculous. Yeah. I I was very surprised it went in because the weather stinks in Philly right now. Mm. 59. Wow. Yeah, the weather was terrible. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Eagles scare me. I mean, I was telling Bianca earlier, I think they're the best team in the NFL right now. Um, so it's just kind of them by themselves in their own category, but plenty of football to be played. Oh. So yeah, these are your best players. Somebody in voice chat? Oh. Yeah. Dynamic. What's up, Dynamic? And Taco Cat. Oh. Oh, wait, did we check Attica? We got so sidetracked. Yes, a dog sitter. Yeah, a dog sitter. There we go. I know Dynamic's in as well as Taco Cat. We can confirm Taco real quick. A Voyager. The third palindrome. What I like is um, 
and out of the park. If they made the Hall of Fame, you'll know <laughs> without even clicking, uh, which is cool. So Taco Cats had two Hall of Fame players. I have not. I actually have zero. Oh. I love LSU. For a, fan. For a second, I thought you were on the Apex also. No, that's and I was you. like, oh, no, that's me. Yeah, my player is called I'm Gonna Stink. I'm not terrible. I'm on the surge. So go search. I think I'm going to maybe turn up the volume for voice chat. So I hear people speaking, but I can't hear. Maybe. maybe they're not trying to speak. You said 25 on 5? Yes, please. Very good. That's perfect. You hear them? Right? Dynamics getting gas. Hey, 2649. Oh, he's getting gas. Should we mute him? Unless you want to make sure Oh. I'm I'm muting dynamic. I don't know. Dynamic message me or someone tell dynamic to message me when 25 on five. When he's not getting gas, I'll message him. All right. Anyways, we're gonna do five seasons sponsored by Febreze. I'm sure I have a Hall of Famer. Let's check. <laughs> Join the PBE, you can get gas. Uh, yes. No, wait. How do I... <coughs> I what? His name was... Third Base. So no Hall of Fame, no Hall of Fame. His name was... Uh... Petra likes baseball. Oh, but third base reborn as a coach. Did Alexander Benjamin Senior retire yet? No, I have not retired. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep going until the wheels fall off. I actually, he's had a pretty good year in the main files. So wasn't there a player called Alexander Benjamin? Oh, is that why he's asking? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> um, he's on the Raptors. He's a two and a half star reliever, making four million dollars. From Indiana State University. Yeah, it's your player. I know. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, we're going to... One more time. I just want to check the short list. Do I have to add anybody? They'll be added later. All right. So, a lot of good players here. Can we hear the song again? I'm down, like, really low in the background. Last time, didn't we let people play songs? Yes, we did a jukebox. Do we want to turn it back on? Depends on what the I was on. I was told and I've seen that other out of the park affiliates put music on their streams. So it hasn't been a reason to lose out of the park affiliation. It's not I don't even think it's in their rules. Twitch can get mad, but they'll just mute the audio. So either way. Enoch gave me approval last time we did it. Uh -huh. Jukebox on or off? Someone said, tell us. Oh, it's in the rules. Oh. Oh, we got a copyright strike? Oh, nice. All right, so maybe not. Did we really? It was recent. I don't think we did. And we just, they just, I saw the VOD. They muted part of the audio. And we never up, that was back when we weren't even uploading to YouTube. So it just kind of died. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, we're going to go to regular season. We're going to see if anyone changed teams. Back then, we weren't putting it on the VODs on YouTube. Now we are. Yeah. What's up, Breeze? All right, so we're jumping to regular season. Ferguson's our best player in the league. We should probably do a prediction for the season. The last eight championships in a row. So maybe do a poll for that. Some good betting, like we'll just pull it up. So I'm gonna do a, a prediction for the history uh, for the World Series, which co conference is gonna win. Let's see. In 2064. Oh, is that too long? I think it is.
We'll do t uh, two minutes. Get your bets in. Yeah, Boise has got a bunch of championships, but the fact that they've won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in a row, and Maui made the championship the year before they won it, lost to the Apex the year before. I wish I could predict. I have a lot of channel points. 56 times. <laughs> For myself, it's a lot. I Because I, every time I bet, I bet all my channel points. So if we have any mods, I'd love to get in the mix as we move through the night, personally. Um, I think Not Space, you should be a mod. Yeah, you are. So if you can handle the next prediction, I'd be grateful. Yep, the Providence Crab. Great call by Taco Cat. <laughs> that's funny it's very it's giving vcl vibes yes it's giving vcl about half a million 500k being wagered yeah not space is a mod oh he's watching on his phone never mind don't be a mod big titty smitty is not a mod is he should be nope Yeah, let's look at the records. I'm going to resubscribe. Oh, do I have alerts on? I probably don't. Oh, yeah, I do. All right, we're going to resubscribe. Use Prime. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, these are some of the out records. Of the park. Yep, I just subbed. I'm shouting myself out. <laughs> Forty-two months. Wow. Oh. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So actually, I was talking to Van earlier. He's like, "Remember, Enoch's player was goaded." Yes, he was. Tobias Funk, three-time Series MVP, three-time MVP. N Wait, nine time? It's so confusing with the the way they do it now. Eighteen time All Star, fourteen time Silver Slugger, two time champion. Yeah, so one of the goats, Tobias Funk, if not the goat, and it's Enoch. Yeah, we need to nerf Enoch. You said Enoch controls this file. <laughs> and Enoch's con Enoch controls the file, and he's the goat. Suspicious. Someone took the goat title from Jirosu, but this is not the main file. I vote Malta. Wow. That's not any of our... Nope. Can I adopt that player? <laughs> <laughs> Anik Anik. Anik 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 has a record. It is... Where was it? Why am I blanking? It was on the left side, right? Did Stop it go away? Moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's my problem. I move. Scroll down. I don't see it. No, I don't see oh, right here. Oh. Most bases on balls in a season. Yeah. Um, Hall of Fame is here as well. Oh, it's creating a lot of baseball cards. I thought I turned that off. Yes, I didn't. Everyone, it's a participation trophy, basically. Okay, instead of a badge, can I put my baseball card? <laughs> on your profile? Yeah. As a SIG, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Matthew Bakery, heck yeah. Palindrome is here. I like the sortable, because then you can sort by who got the highest amount of votes. Clap, foe, bakery. Anyone in all caps is obviously an infused player. What is? What do you mean by infused? Like a PBE. Uh, like we infused ourselves into the world of VCL. I see. Yeah, a lot of Hall of Famers from our crew. D Parm. This is this is Schoolboy Shoes player. <laughs> he named his player after me, which is hilarious. Yeah, I, we checked third base reborn. He's a coach. I think for the Apex. 
But third base reborn did not make the Hall of Fame. Uh, right. So the prediction is done. We're just going to run through the season then. Why not? Right. And then we'll see how everyone ended up. Obviously, if you're here, we want to check you out. So shout yourself out. Uh, let's get at least to the playoffs. Take a peek. Oh, wait. What am I doing? We got we got to stop at the draft. We will stop at the draft and then do the draft. Are we at the draft? No. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> he said, he said, bastards. <laughs> how are the Apex doing? Okay, y'all are doing good. Surge, how are we doing? Oh, Surge looking fire. How's Stink doing? All right, it's draft time, folks. Where are our new creates going to go? We will find out right now. <laughs> Uh, let's see, draft pool. Looks like folks opted out of this draft a bunch. And a lot are going to... So in the way baseball drafts work, it's very different from other sports. If you draft me and I'm a prospect, I can just elect to go to college. And you can't sign me, and I can't enter the draft again until three years later. So if you're one of those players, it's going to be hard to sign like a... You know, Yumi Yamaguchi, you may just choose to go to college in America and then re-enter the draft in three years. Let's see where... Uh, are you not in the draft? Are you not shortlisted? What's, let's check. Oh, I guess you opted... Why are you not eligible for this draft? That's strange. 2064 draft, so we have to wait a year. and We're going to speed through it anyway, but confirm he's shortlisted. Yeah, he is. You went you, you went to high school in Hawaii. Uh Oh, uh, you're too young. Uh You have two players, bro. Big Titty Smith. What? Oh. I think that's So what happens in OTP is they start stealing um Nicknames from like it will take a nickname you've already injected into the league and put it on one of their players. What that's separate, yeah. So that's why there's like an extra hummus god because they reuse the nickname. Strange, uh, but yeah, you're on the crabs. This is your player, Big Titty Smitty, one of the best players in the VCL. Wow, look at that salary! Yeah, it's a lot of money, folks. It pays to be good at fo uh, baseball. I almost said football. Um, let's do the draft then. Here we go. And Cancun does have the first pick. Oh, he's got another player. Oh, yeah. Can we just delete him then? Chat. Chat, give me the power to hit the delete button. He's saying do it. Delete. We got multiple deletes. We got deletes. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Sensei, we, you got outvoted, son. All life is... <laughs> All right. Let's see Cancun, who they get. Here we go. Tyler. The Rage T. Age 21. Congratulations. You are a Toro. The Sloss picked up Diesel. Oh, Diesel on the Sloss. <laughs> Here we go. Vancouver picked up someone not in VCL. And Detroit picked up Vinny, I hate racing, McCurney. Good luck with your career with Detroit. And Rulemaker is a Mako. Interesting. The chocolate show. <laughs> Cast him into the fire. <laughs> Uh, let's see where top text. Oh, Matt Bay 12, Stan Blue Jeans went to the Ruguru. Clem. Oh, wait, it's supposed to say Johnson. Oh, my God. I could do that. I could fix that right now. Make sure. Yeah, obviously, it's shortlist. Right, let's go back to the draft. All right, New York's going to pick Manny Richmond. 
or two relievers, so they may not go in the first round. We are in the second round. They're probably going to go super late. But we go until everyone. Oh, Seattle picked up top text, bottom text. Nice. And last but not least, Min Wang Lee. Wang Lee. We are in the third round. And they are Ruguru. So I think the Ruguru picked up a few players. So congrats to all. Let's get to the playoffs now. And while it's simming, we could see a little bit of everything going on. Oh, I'm covering stuff. We're covering stuff. There we go. Um, Ivo Malta is one of our... Oh, I love Hummus God. That looks familiar. El Duterino. Ted Ferguson's back from injury. Heck yeah, you're going to get first overall. We're going to get there quickly. We're honestly the fifth season at the two hour mark at that point. So we're just going to try to run through obviously checking the sheet. But in the fifth year, maybe we'll do an all star game. Maybe we'll do some playoff games. Uh, red zone style. Are, are the people that are in voice chat saying anything? No, they are not. They probably all left because you didn't talk to them. Oh, you, it's your pick in fantasy. Oh, and it's my pick in. <laughs> Sorry. Let me unmute. All right, I'm unmuting dynamic. There we go. Project Saint, are you there? I have the speaker on correctly. We can chat. Yeah, I am, top. yes. But at the same time, it's nearly 2 a.m. Yeah, I was going to say. Also, I completely forgot that I was I wasn't muted and yeah, just had to get the mic for that. But how are you doing, Hummus? I'm doing great. <laughs> um, in? Yeah, thanks for being here, brother. How are you? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Been um, it's been quite a bit, but it's been pretty damn nice. All in all, turning into a busy period, but hey, can can help but pop by. Eh? Awesome. Well, you're up late, so we're excited that you're here. Hopefully you don't completely throw off your schedule this week. It's Project Saint uh, joining us from across the world. Sweden? All I mean because no, 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 UK. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Um... I think it's my pick. All right, I need to make a pick in this league real quick. We're going to play some music while we wait. Actually, no, we're not because people were mad. But uh, Project Saint, um, who do you got winning this World Series? I know the Makos have won a bunch. Um, Gosh, it's two that I pick on a random win. Makos will be amusing. Um, I did see a certain someone picked up by Death Valley, which I won't say. But if I was to pick one on a whim, let's say let's. I want to say Surge, and then we'll just see if 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 the cards play out or not. Yeah. Um. Looks like there was a lot of bets going for all the leagues. Um. So it should be interesting to see. Uh, what happens with um with that bet because it was pretty split Ooh. oh that'll be interesting to well just to see how it all, it all falls out then champions or legends jeez yeah so we're gonna just speed through the playoffs then so uh we got some really good matchups coming up. I just made this pick in this Dynasty League. We're going to go to the next playoff round, if it lets me. There we go.
Oh. And we'll check the tree. So, oh, Buffalo's still in it. Oh. Yep. And so is the Apex. We may see a a, a, a hummus house. It's a restaurant. A hummus house World Series. Let's do the next round. Oh. That would be interesting. Oh, so oh my surge. Food. My surge. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird to say. I've never been on the but, surge. Uh, DVS beat us. No. <laughs> oh, and it's all said and done. Oh, there's no interleague. I don't know why it defaults to season stats. Yeah, interleague is off currently. No, uh, oh, that sucks. <laughs> I think it got voted on. I need to check that. Maybe we could do a poll tonight, but we can't. Uh, injuries are officially off permanently, as decided by someone who donated. His name's Dak. Here oh. we go. DBS up three to one, and DBS wins. Jose Tickle is your World Series MVP, making ten million as a starting pitcher, thirty year old. So DBS gets a championship, and we can go to. Um, I like going to Hall of Fame voting results. As the next thing. Yeah. Oh, let me score it out. So it's champions. So they they break the streak. Uh the the if you're just joining us, the Legends Conference had won eight World Series in a row. A bunch of different oh. teams, but all from the Legends Conference. The champions for the first time in nine years, in the year of twenty sixty four, they are VCL champions, thanks to DVS. Miracles can happen. <laughs> yeah. No, I, that's why I thought it was a fun bet, you know? Like, who, like it's like a tightrope. Like, is the Legends Conference finally going to get knocked off? That, and oh, my surge. That I wonder how I did. Where am I? Surge versus DC at DBS. Did they even pitch me? Am I hurt? What the? Or I got traded? Or am I just not seeing myself? Oh, I'm right there. I'm... <laughs> I'm just not seeing myself as was the correct. Thing. I went one inning. Jeez. Wow. But zero earned runs. So good showing. Yeah. I pitched hey, one inning in the went, entire World Series. You went perfect in that one inning, though. <laughs> Probably should have had me in more. I mean, we got blown out. Five nothing, five nothing. That's what happened. Then we finally won by one. Then we got blown out. Then we got blown out. I did let up one hit. Hey, hey, look, he may have let up a hit, but he didn't let up a run. That's the big thing right there. <laughs> I stunk too much. <laughs> That's the issue. Oh. Uh. And they were like, ooh. <laughs> too much stinking. Stop it. Apply deodorant. Um, <laughs> we're going to check out the Hall of Fame now. So we, do go, we go based on Hall of Fame voting results, which should be right here. Thank you. Danny Harris, who is just a regular player, and Joel Hernandez, also a regular player, made the Hall of Fame. Who missed it? Legacy. Uh, oh, Sens player got votes. Outside looking in. Ooh. Hall of Fame. Wow. On it's the ballot, so... though. Pretty mid-career, but... Wow, that's judgy. At least he got a ring. What's the career war? Doesn't even say. What are you oh, 52. Pretty good. 52 war is not good enough for the hall? Sheesh. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, These folks be folks, huh? <laughs> yeah. Apex Legends. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna want to want to get to the next draft. I'm gonna check the uh, sheet. <clears throat> oh, Attica online. We're gonna get him in the draft. Oh, we're gonna go to a list, create, and it's a starting pitcher oh. from America. <laughs> and he is eighteen to twenty-one. Star raw, eligible. Wait, why is he a star? 
Everyone's a star, but they start as raw talent. So Wait, untapped. Can you click back on that? Yeah. Hmm. So the, not the highest. If I've done it, we've done it where it was legend but raw, and like a hundred percent of the time they they do too good. So I figured star is perfect, and it ended up kind of working out where a nice mix of mid. Mm -hmm. crappy but also like goaded like it's we're, we've been able to cover the entire spectrum of quality with this setup uh so let's get them in the draft we gotta remember remember the name it's ruben cabrera because i've done it before where i forget the name and then i can't find it so the name is Oh, geez. Yeah. Is that why you were laughing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Not exactly realistic, but it is VCL. Should that all be in capitals? I'm a uh, is, but he put Dickie in. Oh, I thought you said that our people were all in capitals. Oh, they appear as such because they're shortlisted. Yeah. Attica online. All right. We're going to get into the short list well, let's get him in there also need to put him from boston not new york all right let's go to the short list oh wrong short list all right we're gonna see ferguson's holding on to the top spot again that's benny the jet victor charlie lim legally blind gamer victor charlie lima holy fook uh, Cody, who hasn't been active in forever. Scud. Hey, Scud. Who's been pinging me to do... Oh, wow. Milton Adams retired. Oh, just Ooh. retired, I think. Oh, just kidding. He's been, he didn't just retire because he's been in the Hall of Fame for 23 years. Milton Adams. Him at the Chalamet, the man who sold the world, uh, is one of the best players. Hummus finally made me care about VC. <laughs> Sarah led the league in war in 2064. Holy crap. A supernova. A three-time pitcher of the year. Three-time all-star. See what chat's Ooh. saying. Name change back? What? For Nasbase? For who? Oh, for uh, Attica. I got you. Yep. Thank you. Great catch. I just hit enter like five times. Where's Cove? I think you opted for the future draft. Yako Cove. Yeah, you, uh, a high school junior. So you're not even eligible till 2066. Cool. Oh, Hannah G already had a player. Let's see. That was back. Yep, you're on the Serpents when you're only 28. I mean, you already got drafted, so that would be kind of messed up to delete you now. It was. It made sense to delete when we saw it before. You won't be the first multi, actually, Hannah. Uh, and we can change this to Hannah. Um, it's easier to track anyway. But uh, I, I remember Rabbit had two pretty good players concurrently. So, yeah, it, it just would be messed up to delete now. It's allowing multis until we catch it. I obviously wasn't very thorough checking each player because I made two players for two people in the same draft. Caught one and didn't catch the other. Unacceptable. Big fan of multis. The more the merrier, honestly. Right? Huh? What? Was I not supposed to say that? Can't let mm. everybody know that you were multis. <laughs> uh, let's get to regular season. I once had three multis at once. <laughs> do we, uh, do we allow right. this or not? So we did one. You are CSC. That's right. <laughs> we did one season. We are going about to start season two, which should be the season that we get to see Nasbase gets drafted. Um, we're speeding through the off season. Then we're gonna save for sure.
All right. Um, let's check out. We can actually see the rookie draft in the pool. Looks like Amadiki is here. Togo Proudfoot. Akai Kanak. Looks like Cove is way too young. Wait, was that his name? I think that's messed up. Let's see. Oh my goodness, that's way off. Wow. Uh, I should be checking all these. <laughs> I think they're all good. That was the only one. Clem Johnson was messed up. I fixed it. I think I've Joey Bell. Yep. Also a junior. <laughs> wow. All right. Let, let's uh. Let's get a. Let's get to regular season. Are we at regular season? We are. All right. Uh, I like doing this, seeing the report. It's called a uh, preseason predictions. So the predictions have Boise winning 106 games. And these are some of the top hitters and pitchers from the Legends Conference. This is the Champions Conference. Same thing. Um... 97 wins for the Apex projected. What do they have to surge? Oh, they have a surge falling off. Let's go back to the short list to see what teams people are on. So green meets Hall of Fame, I think. Um, yeah, that does mean that. Are you sure? Seattle. Yeah, you can honestly organize by team I as well. I think green means retired. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, wait, these all made the whole. Because there's a bunch of retired that aren't green. Oh. Ah. Okay. Um, I like doing by team. Berkeley, ooh, minor league players. Um, the, I think you missed one from Death Valley, did you? Oh. Yeah, What's I'll up? do the arena. No, one more. Um, recent draft as well. Oh, maybe they're in the minors. Oh. Is... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're affiliated yep. minors. Okay, that's, yeah, no. Yeah. That's probably why. Yeah, he's in the minors. That's one of the coolest things about VCL um, is that every major league team has a farm team, and a farm team is a minor league team or a former minor league branding. Uh, like Berkeley, for example, the Bulldogs, Wait. they are the Sloths, oh. a triple A team, which is really cool. Mm. Let's hit well, save. He's way before my time. Taco Cat wants to check his player. I'm going to do that real quick. That's going to be Palindrome the third. Oh, wow. 26 years old. Another goaded player. This dude's gonna have three Hall of Famers. Oh my Taco Cat. Tell me, tell me you tell it one. Hog champs in chat for sure. <laughs> um let's see. I want to go back to the report. I want to do a weird prediction. Because we are weird here. Let's see. Well, what happened with the previous one? I scored it. Oh, okay. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Legends, 47%. I want to see... Let's pick a stat and then see which league has the higher of that stat. Maybe batting average. Which league has the player with the highest batting average? I mean, can people look right now? This is the preseason report. So this is what they're projecting. Uh, looking like Larios and um, Sobchak are your two best. Sobchak's a little bit better. So what we'll do is have a tie option as well. Which 
uh, conf will have better with highs. We'll have BA. Uh, champions, legends, tie. Two minutes. So again, it's Sobchak. A lot of good depth in the Legends Conference with batting average projected. In the Champions Conference, also good depth. Just really good hitting all throughout. A lot of 300 hitters in both leagues. The projected best batter for average will be Sobchak from the Raptors. That's Scud's player. So will Scud's player lead the entire majors in batting average? Did you bet? Yeah. On who? Okay. Mm. You don't want to announce it? No. <laughs> you don't want people to get swayed by your bet? Correct. I like the shirt. Thank you. I like your shirt. Thank you. I should have oh. won one to match. Uh, Next time we'll have the color board. <gasps> oh, we should. We got just about a minute left. Looks like Champions is dominating um, this bet right now. Would like to see someone go crazy and throw all their money in the pot. I wish I could. Oh, Attica's here. Is Attica a mod? Yes. Like Attica's been here? Yeah, Attica's been here. Attica, can you do the next prediction? So next season. We're about to enter season two. We're going to actually, uh, once this bet is done, we're going to skip straight to the first player draft, like last season, see where people Who's end that? up. Because that's always fun. Who's... And then get to the playoffs. Who's the mad guy who puts him 3K into tie? I respect you for that one. <laughs> Look, I mean, look, uh, the the projected highest is 367. The next highest is 363. So realistically, a tie is definitely in play. All right, here we go. We're going to go to the first player draft because the bet is over. And keep your eyes on the batting average up top on both leagues. It's going to be fun as we move through the simulation. Keep tabs. Looks like Austin McCahey. Oh, Felix Padilla is winning that stat category. <laughs> We're going to send said, give me another player. I put all my points into tie. Um, pretty funny. All right. So these are your players in the pool. Now let's see where they end up. First pick goes to the Sloths. And they picked up Hannah G. Former Sloth, now co-GM of the Ruguru in the real file, goes back to the Sloths. It all makes too much sense to, sometimes in VCL. Others, it doesn't. Remember, injuries are off, so your career is based on you now. You See, my first player um, was riddled by injury, so I could just blame the injury bug on why I stuck. Now, if my player stinks, now I have to say because he actually stuck. So usual. <laughs> Yeah, so the usual, correct, like Project Saints, huh? Um, we'll check Heifer Nanny, but yeah, Fetty just got picked up by Nashville. Shout out to Fetty's first player. You're not eligible till the following season. So see where Cancun goes. They went with Selwell. Oh, and New York picked up Kuldra. Yeah, injuries are off Taco Cat because Dak won the auction for that specific thing. The auction was you get to pick any yeah. rule, any rule you want. And we were going back and forth. We were talking about DH, no DH, DH, no GH. And he's like, hold on. My first player got wrecked by injuries. Let's do injuries off. I was like, I'm sold. We did it. And we confirmed it when we started that that's what we did. Attic Online goes to the Supernovas, who's one of the best franchises in VCL history. What's up, Chess? We're just waiting on Commander War Smoke now. It's Uzi's player.
We are in the second round. Oh, wait, they got picked. Hold on. I missed it. Uh, was it here? No. I oh, know they still haven't gotten picked up. What am I saying? Come on, Commander. Get drafted. Oh, OBX picking up Commander Warsmoke. High potential reliever. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe that snub. I mean, they got picked in the third round. It's pretty deep for a five star potential. Uh, let's get to the playoffs, shall we? Keep your eyes on that batting average. Holy Fuchs up there. It's a VCL player. Naspace is asking if they got drafted. The stream is muted for some reason. Oh. Uh, uh, let's check. That's easy to check. We can actually check all of that. Ineligible. Wait. The stream muted? No, they're saying that for them, the stream is muted. Oh, yeah, you got one more year. Wait, you were the second pick and then went back to college? Oh, you committed to Indiana. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you hit the mute button. Yeah, so what happened was, looks like you got drafted second overall, but committing to Indiana University, IU, their baseball program. So you'll be in the majors in three years. Let's get to the playoffs. Rack up those stats. We're checking batting average. Is the season up? I oh, know it's trade deadline day. Ooh, palindrome's up there. I saw. Ooh, that tie is looking close. Not really. <laughs> yeah, I I wish you were a rainbow warrior. At least your player's from Hawaii. Padilla's running away with it. Looks like Padilla's got it locked up. Yep. And the Legends Conference, we can confirm. Lee combined. Yep. Vid Padilla of the Vandals is your top batting average player. So we're going to score that out to Legends. And we're going to do the World Series. Check out the playoff tree. The Surge did not make it, unfortunately. Apex did make it. Am I still... Oh, I'm on the Crab now. No wonder. Let's do a quick... Because of that, see if... Um, any team changes? Yeah. The Crabs are stacked. AF. But yeah, we'll go back. So I'm on the crabs now. I'm playing the Makos. No, the crab. The crab. <laughs> Gotta get it right. Uh, we're gonna just see who wins the solo crab. Let's do next playoff round. Taco Cat, you're on Sarasota. Looks like we got no. bounced. Oh, the Apex. Who knows if I'm Ooh. still there? Let's but. check. Yep, you are. Come on. So this was a... You see what I mean by, like, the game actually picked a player? We could just erase this nickname. The game straight up picked a player. And named them Bunky Bianca. Yeah, named them Bunky Bianca as their nickname. Awkward. This is you. Yeah, it is awkward. I could just erase it so it's not confusing. Goodbye, nickname. All right. Yeah, there's a, a player who stole the Taco Cat nickname. We can erase it too. That's oh, don't, so strange. Don't remove it. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Danny Martinez. <laughs> yeah, very strange. It's it's a weird quirk about out of the park. Very weird. Um, Just give them no nickname, right? Yeah, like why opt into like stealing from former? Right. 
it makes sense to cycle through because like you know usually a nickname's like speedy or like the hammer or something <laughs> or like <laughs> you know like captain clutch i know my when i what? when i when i played 2k and they had like the nicknames that they could say like the commentators could say like in their bank captain clutch i was always captain clutch yeah right i'm sure yeah that's that was my favorite 2k nickname mm -hmm. not very clutch though we lost in the first round in this thing um mm -hmm. go back to the tree so we got the final four here let's get to the next round And DVS has a chance to go back to back. Uh, Remember last year, they stole the World Series from the Legends Conference for the first time. It's oh. it's a repeat of last right? year. No, it's, no, actually, we know. Yeah, it was, it was a surge last year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we got blown out. And then they traded me. Awkward. <laughs> Lose and get mm -hmm. traded. Not the best outcome. Uh, looks like DVS won game one. DVS did win game two. So they're on a little dynasty streak. Oh, Mako steal one. Mako's tied up. Ooh. Oh. DVS leads three to two. Will we get a game seven? We won't. Vargas is your World Series MVP. The 31-year-old, the second baseman. So DVS goes back to back. And we will go now to check to see if we have any new players. We don't. Whoops. My controls do that. We're going to green Quiet out Attica. Let's get the Hall of Fame voting results. That's my favorite thing to do if I could find it. Why is Punk's player in red? Oh, because he already had a player. I actually did check him. Uh, I didn't check everybody. I, see. I didn't check Big Titty Smitty. I should have. Biggest Titty is Smitty is. Yes. All right. Let's see if uh, Sen can make the Hall of Fame. He's been uh, knocking on the door. Last time, got 35% of the votes. Need at least, I think, 75. Or no, we lowered it to like 66.6% of votes from voters. The votes from the voters? Mm-hmm. As opposed to votes from the non-voters? Yeah. Right. Very good. Got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to go check out the Hall of Fame. Wow. Oh, my God. That's one of the highest ever. Congrats, Elijah Shaw and Rich Feliciano, neither of which were injected players. So we're not even – we got to do better, folks, because Kim – I think that's a PBE player. I know for a fact this is Sen. That's Jess. This is Nobody. And this is no lasagna lady finger. <laughs> lasagna lady finger, third and second. Both been knocking on the door. Looks like they're not going to make the Hall of Fame. Vichy Vichy did make it right before we cut it last time. Matthew Bakery did make it. So we we've made the Hall of Fame, just not tonight. Tonight's not our night. Um to put it in perspective for Elijah Shaw, second highest amount of votes. No player's ever been unanimous unanimously voted into the hall. Um a bunch of first ballot Hall of Famers. We can actually organize that. I want to see everybody. Why does it cut me off? Anyways. Um, oh, because I did the wrong order. A lot of first ballot Hall of Famers. It took 10 tries for Bentley to make it, which is the most out of any player. We did lower it, as you could tell, the 66.6. .6. It was defaulted to 75, but participation trophy era. Let's open it up to more people. All right? Was that the line of thinking? <laughs> Is that the eras change? Uh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. So we're going to... Uh, we want to see folks get drafted. And we're going to get there. We're going to get to the preseason. So that's two seasons down, two championships by DVS. That I don't think we've ever seen a team go five straight, ever. Would be incredible if DVS can go get all the championships tonight. I wanted to check the championship list once we get to regular season to kind of see historical perspective. Where does DVS rank all time? I know six was the most going into tonight. Where do those two championships put them on that list of champions? There's about four teams who've never won a championship. We're going to check that out as well. Uh, we're going to check the index. 
and we go to teams and then we list by champion supernovas the demons the surge the vandals have never won a championship I thought you said the supernovas one of the best teams it. ever and I'll show you why I think that but the uh, apex the percentage yep their win percentage good. is very good DVS with that second in a row puts them second all time in championships with five Boise Maui and the Indy are the three best teams in league history um the super now if we organize by win percentage i mean that doesn't put them second though that would put them fourth right but i'm just saying supernova's bottom of the list in championships fifth all time in, in win percentage that's why i think they're one of the best of all time yeah best teams in nbcl history just have been super unlucky look at the playoff appearances that's also a good indica indicator fourth all time in playoff appearances demons with their zero championships, also set only seven playoff appearances. One fifth of the Makos. That's crazy. Um, one of the probably easy, probably the worst franchise in the league. Um, we turned Evolution off. Uh, let's jump into the the uh, oh, we're at opening day, so let's jump into a preseason report. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's really cool. The minor league rank. So the slots have the best farm with Yamaguchi, Zedius. Uh, a lot of PBE players here, but we're going to check uh, that preseason report. DBS projected to finish second again. They keep getting projected to finish second in their own division and yet keep winning the championship. Um, when will the voters learn? You're right here. One of the top pitchers. You're still on Indy. Um, I on congrats, Bianca and Hummus. Uh, Stink is not on here. Um, I think this will be a better bet. Same thing as last time. Actually, uh, I'll do it again. I know I keep asking for someone else to do it, but this is fun. Which conf will have most have pair with? most home runs champions legends tie so the tie bet here actually matters because they actually have players tied they have mars marzagos and ferguson tied ferguson that is i keep forgetting oh benny the jet all right we got two minutes i'm gonna get one of those cans Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, babe. So, which conference I play with most home runs? We we are betting channel points right now. The tie options is much stronger than last time. I know Sen put all his money into tie. And uh, if you bet legends, you oh I can't I didn't spell legends correctly. Sorry about that leg nds so we're about to enter season three thank you very much appreciate you, you. Are so awesome. gotta cover logos and stuff I shouldn't cover the freaking thing. There we go. Mm. I love this shirt. Marshall's is the best store ever, I think. All right. Um, nobody's betting the legends or tie. All right, there we go. If you bet any on tie, which actually would be the result if the predictions of the file were correct you'd you'd make pretty decent coin that just seems far too like unrealistic i mean it seems yes and i guess unrealistic that they would tie so yeah the result would have been tied because you have mara Ziegos with 55 as well as um ferguson What's one in nighttime? All right, let's get to the draft, folks. 
see where folks end up. Keep your eyes on the second stat. We can honestly just rotate through all of next year RBI and then stolen bases. Um, they only show batting stats. Oh, wow. Looks like Ferguson's running away with it. Here comes the draft. And our draft pool contains Bartholomew Heffernani, Joey Battle, Dazen Guyol. Wait. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I know why. I read it his player. He put a player last time at the very end, and I forgot to put him in when we were streaming. If you look on the sheet, he's on there twice. Um, did Heffernani play in college? Let's see. Heffernani played at Millersville University. Where is that? Pennsylvania. We could show the stream. Uh, it's a school. Um, where is it? Pennsylvania. Oh, in, in the city of Millersville. So it's a city called Millersville. Um, so yeah, that's the school you went to. We should do that more often, like check on where folks went to school. And uh, we promote education here. And we'll go to the draft. He played high school ball until age. <laughs> oh man, needs to pass some tests. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the draft pool. And... First pick is the Sloss again. They keep building out that farm. Let's see how they do it this time. This one will go to, oh, himself, Mr. Millersville. Sent. And Joey Battle going to the Toros. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yakko going to the search. Oh, my former team. And Punk is going to... The Serpents. Congrats. Supplemental round. Um, the, the first supplemental round. The comp round. So we're going to go to playoffs. We are in season three of five. We're making good time. How are we doing on home runs? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Ted Ferguson. Someone's got to, like, put, like, laxatives in his food or something. Because uh, injuries are off. So the only way he'll stop hitting home runs is if he has, like, a stomach bug. Yeah, we'll check Benjamin Sr. once the season ends. Looks like Champions Conference is running away with it with Ferguson. Oh, holy fook. It's right there. A few away. Oh, no. But Ferguson uh, keeps hitting home runs. Oh, man. Holy Fook kept it close, though. A valiant effort from Holy Fook. Uh, let's check. Um, let's see here. He is uh, here. BNN page. Says he's a free agent. Was traded in 2065 by the Surge to OBX. Surge have been trading everybody, huh? You were claimed off waivers. Wow, you got waived by Boise. What? Got waived by Boise. Picked up by Buffalo. Buffalo traded you. That's interesting. Won a World Series. Who? With the Raptors? Oh. Where does it say that? One of these. Oh, up here. Wow. Uh, let's check Taco Cat. Supernovas. Three-time All-Star. Oh, you got a Silver Slugger in 2063 as well as a championship. But that wasn't with Sarasota because we know they are not champions. All right, let's check the playoff tree. 
Are you still on Apex? Let's check. Check everybody here. You are. Three-time All-Star. Nice. Oh, look, I went to Miami. Oh, you, oh that's... I, I'm guessing that's the Ohio one? Oh, what, but it would probably have OH. Oh, that's and right. So it probably... Eh. Well, no. Because University of Miami is... Yeah. yeah. The, the Florida one. Ohio's a cool state. We got a lot of folks from Ohio in the PBE. Shout out to Ohio. Um, let's go to the next playoff round. Am I still on the crab? I feel like I've been bouncing around a lot. Hold on. Yep. That's all I wanted to know. I'm a reliever now. Hello, Luigi. The crab advanced. Oh, the apex got swept. Darn it. Um, let's see what the crabs and the aviators. Will the Supernovas win their first ever championship? Unreal. They've been not. Oh, they made the World Series against my crab. Oh. So we're going to go to the coverage screen. We need to turn Interleague on, folks. Um, but we got. Oh. Laser. New player. Starting in the World Series game one. Unbelievable. Um, here we go. Let's get some stats here. Here we go. Game one. And the Supernovas win. Supernovas with Palindrome. And I'm a Dickey. Oh, I didn't pitch in game one. Let's see if I pitch in. Oh, no. I'm on this team. <laughs> and I also didn't pitch anyway. I didn't check the wrong team. Game two is won by the Supernovas. They're up 2-0, and I still haven't pitched yet. But um, who knew had a good outing? Who um, knew? Who knew? There you go. Who knew actually had a bad outing? They're not. They're 7.9. Is that why they're winning? <laughs> yeah, they got because who knew? Who knew got dinged up really badly. Um, nine hits, ERA of 7.94. Here we go. Game three. Oh, the Supernovas are on the verge of a sweep. And it's because I haven't... Oh, I did pitch. And I had a perfect three innings. Wow. The final score was four to two. It looks like I came in relief. We'll check. Yeah, I came in. Um, Hoyos gave up two earned. And that, um, and then two unearned runs for Florimond from that one error. Unbelievable. So the Supernova swept their first World Series. Oh, no, no graph, whatever. Uh, they won it four to two. Um, Franklin Diaz won MVP, and that's their first championship. So congrats to Palindrome the third, and I May Dickey. And everybody else on the Supernovas. Now we can go to Hall of Fame. Oh. Let's go back here. And checking out the tree. Congratulations to Sarasota. First time champs. Uh, much, much deserved. Uh, if any team deserved to win, it was this one. Because they had the fourth highest win percentage in league history. The only ones in the top five. And the only ones in the top 10, really, with no rings, so congratulations. All right, we're going to go to Hall of Fame voting results, which should be here. Wait, did I scroll? Wait, did we? Did I scroll out the bet? No. Nope. Let me stop this. Wow, Ferguson at 69. Let's see. So it was a Champions Conference because it was Seattle. Ferguson, 69 home <laughs> Is that the record? Let's check. Records, history index, leaderboards, single season home run. 
Wow. Oh my. That's incredible. Shout out to Benny the Jet. New VCL record 69. And we did a bet on it. Yep. So the next bet we do, they're also going to break the record. We should do a pitching one next. Maybe strikeouts. Ooh. Yeah, we should do strikeouts next one. Or or pitcher wins. Um, which is very likely to be a tie. Uh, so save. Saves? Saves. Yeah, that'd be cool. We um easy to track for sure. It's all easy to track when it's all over. I just wish they showed it during the season. Uh let's go to Hall of Fame history. Voting history. Here we go. Oh, did we not? Oh, we didn't make it there yet because I stopped to score the bet. If Attic is here, I'd like a prediction going for maybe like either two or five minutes, but which conference will have the player with the most saves? Champions, Legends, or Ty? Oh, and we'll do a little preseason reporting and all that if we can to kind of see. Um, we'll actually just check this year's stats. Um, pitching leaders. Saves was by Providence player. That's Legends Conference. Another Legends Conference. Another Legends Conference. And then the fourth place was champion. So yeah, so it goes Legends, Legends, Legends. So let's do that. It's Lucero, Busi, Alberto Davis, Huffwinkle, and Tramilo. Um, let's go check out Hall of Fame voting. And Chris Kellum made it after missing last season. 62% of the votes needed at least 66. Got enough, more than enough. Congratulations. Harvey Daybreak. Oh, that's Vivid 403. Wow, what a throwback. Um, third to second. Let's see. 42%, 39.8. They've been hovering in that range. I guess it's just... Yeah, their standards are 48. The average is 55. I mean, if they made it, they'd be a below average Hall of Famer. That's why I said mid. But I guess if you get Hall of Fame votes, you're not mid. You're better than mid. So. Oh, wait. I didn't put it up yet. Um, I'll put it up. Uh, which conference? Which cough? Same thing. We're going to try to follow saves throughout the year when we stop for the draft. So you got two minutes. Any new players? Nope. Um, we're going to go uh, check the short list again. Ferguson is still the best player. We just scroll through. Two-time MVP. Wow, three-time World Series and regular season MVP. Seven-time All-Star and Gold Club. <laughs> this is Scud's player. Cody's player. Two-time... Series MVP, five-time World Series MVP. What? Oh, no. It's regular season MVP. Ten-time All-Star, seven-time. Yeah, this is a Hall of Famer right here, folks. You want Hall of Fame stats? That's Hall of Fame stats. Wow. Same one. Oh, this is a Hall of Famer. Ooh, Rory is one of the best players in the league as a closer. And they, they're only 22 years old. The man who sold the world, 29, 6. Eh, definitely not Hall of Fame, but good, pretty good career. LBG, pretty good career. Seven-time All-Star. And, and one Rookie of the Year one time.
Looks like Legends is getting a lot of votes. So if you put tie, um, you'll get a lot. Let's get to that. Regular season begins in April. Can you retire? No. We could check if you're retired. Well, they do have pitching stats, ERA and wins. Yeah, we got to do pitcher wins next season. Because that's definitely going to be a tie, but it may not be, you know. So we did three seasons. We did DBS, DBS, and Sarasota won. Finally, Sarasota won a championship. Well, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go to league history. And let's check out that list. So now three teams remain ringless. Vandals, Buffalo, and Detroit. If everyone remembers correctly, the Kingpins were the last team to win. Um, we did we did a hodgepodge of majors and minors teams in the same league in that VCL. And the Kingpins, we were like, well, uh, yeah, they never did. The file corrupted by the time we ended it. <laughs> Uh, let's check the minor league history. The Kingpins have never won it here. <laughs> That's back-to-back -back files where the Kingpins cannot win a World Series. The Bears, the Swifties, the Lemurs. Bears, Swifties have six. And the Foxes, yep. It's a former Majors. This is great branding, by the way. Oh, they won't show it. I have to go here. Kashima, thank you. Yeah. I mean, this league, this league suffered when this branding went away. We need this branding for sure. Like big time. This is incredible. Bring um, back the fox oh. Yeah, it's just easy on the eyes. It's a great color combination. Um, yeah. Let's check Modelo. <laughs> Great name. Yes, you did retire, Sonic Gmail. Can you fill out the form? It's right here. Hey, Luigi. Thanks for joining tonight, brother. Uh, we'll see you Tuesday. And we will go to... Uh, Did you retire yet? Let's see. You're still on the crab. You're good, man. Oh, you're 35 though. Old fart. Um, let's, we already did the prediction, so that's done. Let's go to the draft and see if we have anybody. There, yeah. You could have made a someone could have made a rule. Dak made a rule like, "Hey, the 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 user gets to pick the retirement." That could have been a rule, like if they're watching live. That'd be fair, right? If you get to retire. You have to like die or retire. Yeah, you don't get to pick retirement. The nice. the game picks it. Um, let's check out the draft. Oh, just Tyler. Oh, because he went back into the draft after getting drafted. Did you check to see if... Oh, Sonic Gmail. All right. We'll get him in this draft, I think. If he's... Yeah. If it lets us. I think it will. All right. He wants a catcher. Nationality. American. Star. Very young. Raw. Eligible. Bud Light, Victor Batista, and we, oof, I did all the correct things, right? That stinks. Sorry. Um, hopefully you're better than that. A career minors player helped the Kingpins win a championship. Sonic Gmail from African. 
from St. Louis. There we go. Shortlist. Let's save the file. You have the age and stuff in there. Oh, you can't pick. Yeah, people don't pick birthdays anymore because I don't pick that. But he's eligible for the draft, so he should be in this draft pool. Yeah, he is. All right. Last minute scouting. <laughs> Sounds like a league I know about. <laughs> uh, let's see. The first pick goes to the Demons, which will be Tyler. The Rage T, D the Rage. And we're probably going to be waiting a while for Bud Light. Oh, missed it. That's fine. A draft log. So you went to the Apex? Hey, teammate. Teammates. Cool, cool. And let's go to the rest of the season. We'll check after the season, and we could have ch let's let's see an update on saves. It should be on the right side. Uh, I'll pitching leaders. Yep, it's right here. Right now, it's Indy, it's Champions Conference, but a Legends Conference player is right behind them, and multiple Legends Conference players right there. So it is a fight to the end of the season. Plenty of baseball left, though. So this is season four. Yes. Hopefully we can speed into see like get into season five and then maybe watch a game or watch. What we used to do is at the end of the regular season, if there's like a playoff race that that last game decides birth, we'll watch it. Birth. <laughs> decides birth. Decides being born. Oh. Uh, what? No birth. B e r t h like spot. Like a birth. Ooh, we can also do hitting streak. Uh, I don't know where that's actually tracked. I think it is tracked, actually. Also, we could do which team finished top of the power rankings at the end of the regular season. There's only one power rankings that they produce. So, Let's see, and we, and we got the stats. Here we go. Moment of truth. It was Maui by one. Oh, but Champions was six behind with Shuarto. But Ju Juan Cho of the Makos, perfect player. Wow. An all-star. So what's le it was Legends Conference. Maui's in Legends is Toronto. And we shall check out uh, the playoff tree. Looks like a lot of usual suspects. Sarasota noticeably uh, excluded from the playoffs. Oh, you're on the Rougarou. Let's see what happened here on the BNN page. Always fun to see that. It was an all-star this year, but then after the all-star game, six days later, traded by the stars to the Rougarou. Let's see how you got to the stars. Oh, you signed a one year in the off season after becoming a free agent. Um, at the end of 2066 season, 2067 before yeah, in January, and then got made to all star, and then they used you. Oh, traded for I love Hummus Scott. That's LSU fan. <laughs> Players on the move. Uh, let's check Yumi. We got requested on you. Remember in chat, you ask, we deliver all the time, always. Uh, you're a Berkeley Bulldog. You're a two star. You're uh, 23. Um, <laughs> eight teams. So you're probably going to get called up very, very shortly. Steady as you go. Where's the personality traits? Oh, they have done? Doesn't every player? Let's see the short list. Ooh, top text, bottom text. Wait, did we turn off? Oh, there we go. Not everyone has the high and the low. 
Um, wow. So it doesn't want to make a lot of money and has high work ethic. Uh, Hall of Fame? Yes. Already a two-time MVP. <laughs> yeah, Benny the Jet made a goat. Am I still on my Abrams? Let's check. We'll go Bunky. Yes, you are. Four-time All-Star. Oh, wow. Nice, babe. Oh, let's go Taco Cat next. Let's see. Career stats. Let's go to your BNN page. <laughs> Loyalty and work ethic. Yep. Awesome. So, oh, you had some good games against uh, the Katoros, the Stars, the Sea Serpents. Wow, some gems. Uh, let's see how much you're making. $27 million. Not bad. Mm. Pays the bills. My guess. Fair national popularity. Well known locally, though, in uh, Indianapolis. Fair national popularity from Chesapeake, Virginia. 4.4 war last year. Well, or in this year. Mrs. is not loyal to the team. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Taco Cat. Palindrome the third. Three time All Star, one time Rookie of the Year, and two time champion, one time uh, Silver Slugger. So pretty mid, but mid is good. Mid is better than bad. And you make a lot of money, so that's good. What happens if you click that? Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Oof. Chemistry unha Team chemistry is unhappy because they're slackers and selfish. I feel like that's, that wasn't in past out of the parks. Maybe it was. But they would always put team chemistry, but they never put the reason. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, well, Sarasota missed the playoffs, so you know the chemistry could could have been a reason why. Um, yeah, let's check out the playoff three once more and let's get to it. Next playoff round. Here we go. Oh, the Apex. The Rugru did make it actually sports ghost. That's John Wayne 12. We'll get to the next playoff round. The Apex made it. Oh, against OBX. And we're going to do playoffs. Game one is at Outer Banks. Mrs. Hummuscott. Mm -hmm. That's you. Mm -hmm. Pitching in the World Series. Mm -hmm. Game one goes to Indy. Game two goes to OBX. So it's tied. How'd you do? Um, You're on this side. Wow. 1.23 ERA over one inning or over 7.1 innings. Sheesh. Apex up two to one. OBX ties it. Hummus God back on the mound. Mrs. Hummus God back on the mound after a great outing the first time. Oh, OBX got to her. Yeah, her ERA shot up. Yeah. Only pitched a few innings, a couple innings, so not a great game. Here we go. OBX wins their champs, and they do. Edgar Mendoza is your World Series MVP, only making $2 million. And OBX, I think they put themselves. Uh, let's check the playoff tree. That's it. They're going to trade me now. They're going to be like, you know what? Out of here, Mrs. Humble's God. We're going to Hall of Fame, but I do want to check. Um, Didn't they have six championships or no? The Apex? Aviators. Oh, I think it was five, but they had five. I'm not sure. We gotta check. They probably did have five. <laughs> John Wayne's like, I was on this team, but they won without me. Every I just want to be Ted Ferguson. I want to have a career like that. Break the record for most homers in a year. Like, come on. But I don't even bat. So what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> Next time. No one made the hall? Oh. Wow. That's a cruel, uh, cruel panel of voters. Uh, I'm disappointed that Lasagna Ladyfinger didn't make it. Yeah, it looks like she's not going to. I mean, any... that's really absurd because that player needs to be memorialized. O only a five-time All-Star, so I can kind of get why being on the outside looking in. But as a pitcher, five All-Star games is a lot. 
Oh, uh, we got upcoming eligibles. Um, nobody I recognize. So fun. I do like the upcoming eligible thing. Uh, do want to check the history index? Oh, that puts them at four. So two away from tying the apex would have put themselves number one. Are you able to see like players that have recently retired? Yeah. Um, I think there's a list uh, available for someone. The upcoming eligibles is a good way to check because those are players who retire but have not had enough time retired to where they can get voted for right. Hall of Fame. I was just wondering if there was an easier way than, you know. Because uh, I feel like people ask, like, did my player retire? Yeah, the easiest way, unfortunately, is to search each player individually. Mm -hmm. um, so we got through Hall of Fame. Let's get to regular season. And then see what, what teams... Everyone's on if everyone wants There's to. There's no other recreates or new creates. Check the list. Oh, wrong thing. Nope, it was Sonic Gmail, which we got in there. This is spring training, right? Yeah. Looks like there's a lot of deals being made. Trevino on the move. It looks like they did March Madness, NCAA Bracketology. Definitely want to hit save. So it's been a fun back and forth lately. Three straight by the champions, now back for the Legends Conference. Uh, these are the preseason predictions. OBX, wow, Boise. Looking to win 100 games. Hmm. And, oh, sorry. Champions Conference has the apex on top of the one of the, of the East. And the West has DVS on top. Cancun get, get out of the bottom as well. Detroit's climbing up a little bit. Um, those are your top hitters and batters. Mrs. Thomas God climbing up the ladder, which is great to see. Um, Sarah's right there. That's a hilarious name. Uh, let's see what chat's saying. Did I get called up yet? Let's see. You, me. Still on the Berkeley Bulldogs. Stuck at two stars. Have I spurned any? any? Oh. On the Kingpins. Ooh. Did they win the championship? We should check that. They have not won it yet. So, uh... Is there a minor league Hall of Fame? No. Oh, damn. Oh, it's just all the players who made the majors Hall of Fame. They appear with their minor league team. And the, okay, I see. This is just a majors Hall of Fame. I was scared. I was like, huh? Yeah, it was literally the same people. Um. Laughs the goat, by the way. I knew that was Babs. 16-time All-Star. 16-time Gold Glove. That's insanity. Um, So we're at opening day. We have one more season to go. Uh, we've done four of them. There's DBS, DBS, Sarasota, and OBX. So now we got one more championship to give out. Uh, check the short list one more time. We're going to check Taco Cat in a second. Top text, bottom text, Victor, Charlie Lima, Holy Fook, Ted Ferguson, um, Sarah's player. Where's Stink at? We're going to check Taco Cat, then we're going to check Stink. We're going to check... Uh... No team. Huh. But only 29 years old. Damn, he's holding out for a contract. Or going to be forced to play a minor league contract. Interesting. Um... Still on the crab at the age of 36. With no injuries, I feel like players are going to play forever. Former first overall pick, by the way. Uh, 
Let's check um, John Wayne 12. Still on the Ruguru, yep. Right, let's check Project Saint. Still a Bulldog. Oh, teammates with Diesel. Sheesh, y'all are stacked. Y'all should be winning championships. Maybe you did. Would that show up here? Ooh, traded by the stars. Huh. Drafted by the Rougarou, but traded. To the stars, then traded by the stars. Back to the sloths. Oh, no, to the sloths for the first time. Sorry. Um, well, on the move a lot. Three major league teams haven't been called up yet. <laughs> a lot of movement, folks. You love it. Oh, I'm on the Toros now? What? We're going to check the BNN page. Oh, geez. I've been on. Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> a lot of movement, folks. So I was third in reliever of the year in 2061. That was a while. It was before we even started tonight. Signed a three-year with the Raptors. Oh, signed a one-year with the Surge, three-year with the Raptors. Um, waived by the Raptors, claimed by Providence, traded by Providence to Nashville, and then signed a three-year with the Toros. Let's go Toros. Yeah. <laughs> So many teams. I started, well, who did I get drafted by? By the Makos. Oof. Now I'm on the Toros. Huh. Alrighty. Well, we're going to go to opening day and let's do a prediction. Uh, let's do pitcher wins. Let's go back to the report. So pitcher wins up here. 20 by Payne. In the Legends Conference and in the Champions Conference, it's 17 by Jacobs. Armani Jacobs. So let's do that. Which uh, will have the most pictures? Uh, we'll have player. Oh, darn it. With most W's. You can put wins. Yeah. Which conference I picture most wins? Uh, champions. Legends. I. Right. I'll do two minutes. We're running predictions all night. So we're going to go to the draft again once this bet is done. But these are the best pitchers with. Uh, made me care about VCL up there as well. Um, and Hummus God is here, project, projected to get 13 wins, nine losses. Jacob's up there. I am Dicky, also up there. That's Attica. I'm a Dicky. <laughs> Ema Dicky, I should say. Yeah, I've been bouncing around teams like ping pong for real. Not fun. I don't think I have any. Yeah, I have no championships. Rookie. Oh, I do have a championship. Oh, way back in the day. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think with Maui? Yeah. Thank you. Was a top 100 prospect right after that, too. So it was a young player. But then one reliever of the year. Nice. That was 2062. So that was with Buffalo. Definitely not a Hall of Famer at this point. Probably won't make it. Um, actually, very likely won't make it as, as almost a guarantee. Nobody picking a tie for most pitcher wins. I feel like that's a stat where tie is very likely. Really? It's a low stat. Usually it's around 20. Yeah. Legends Conference keeps dominating on all these stat leaderboards. Okay. Oh, someone put money on tie. Nice. Decent payout. Very good payout. We could probably just skip to the draft while it's finishing up. Keep betting, though. 
It usually has pitcher wins on the bottom. Or when it's not simulating, I think. We'll see. All right, we're going to get to the draft. Show leaderboards. There we go. Um, so pitcher wins is seven in one conference and eight in the other. At as we get to the draft, which has nobody in it, so we could skip it. Now the last day of regular season is the thirtieth. So let's go to a specified date. Let's go to the 29th of September, right? Yeah. And let's see if we need to go red zone for the last day of the year to see if a team can be on the edge. Looks like the Legends Conference has a playoff race between OBX, Maui, New York, um, with everyone else pretty much out of it. Looks like Champions got it all locked up, unfortunately. But there could be a big race happening between only two of these three teams can make it. Oh, and Maui now playing themselves into the conversation. Voyager's playing themselves out. Wow. Maui on a tear. And these teams in the championships can't get over the hump. Can Maui win some games here? They're battling for that last spot. Yeah, it looks like all... Oh. Maui with the only team that hasn't been knocked out. Let's see their percentage. Wild card. They're not even on here, so. Oh, they're for the division. Oh, what? No, they can't win. Uh, looks like they have no chance, even though they haven't been officially eliminated. There's two games left. Uh, let's go... To scores, finish today, check standings again, and Maui has been eliminated going into the final day. They did lose on the second to last game, which knocked them out completely, so we do have our playoff teams. Let's go to playoff begin. Oh, let's check. Maybe we have a... No, that'd be crazy. Um, pitcher wins 16. 19. So it looks like it's going to be Legends Conference since Champions has no way to win it. Let's just get to the playoffs to confirm. Yep. And it was the Legends Conference again winning one of these bets in the form of Bobby Peralta. All right. We're going to check out the playoff three now. The last playoff three of the night. Maybe we can, uh, if there's multiple elimination games going on at the same time, uh, like the games going, series going the distance, we can try to go both and bounce between them. Oh, let's check Taco Cat. Great question. Uh, sign with the crab. Let me scroll down. A minor league contract with a majors option. So it looks like you're on the majors roster right now. And are the crab in the playoffs? They, I think they are. They are. They did win game one. And they won game two. Uh... Looks like the Raptors moved on. Looks like the Crab and the Surge made it to a final game. No game today for them. Oh, it's, I think they have them staggered. Looks like uh, Apex moved on. Nice. So they're on back-to-back -back days, which is lame. I'd rather not watch two separate games just for the first round, so... Unfortunately, we're just going to skip it. 
unless we go like super mega speed. Mm. But two teams, I think, that have PBE players on. I know Palindrome, obviously, on this side. Oh, Big Tidius, Smidius, also on Providence. Um, oh, and also Benjamin Sr., yep, on Providence. So, a lot on Providence. We could just jump in, right? Let's just do it. We got plenty of time. We got, oh, we got 15 minutes, actually. Uh, maybe in a later round. And the Surge won. Moreno is your MVP. And the Crab are eliminated. We got another elimination game. And it's Fuchilo. And the Stars. Wow. First time they've made this far in a while. So those are your four teams. They're in staggered series, unfortunately. How do I make it so it's not? Surge Raptors. Oh, and the Apex one. Oh, Surge Raptors is going to seven. Let's see. Oh, oh, the Raptors won. Oh, wow. And we can check the coverage. Series MVP was Alex Lopez. Trying to see for the Boise Raptors how many. Yep. This is King Cobra. A pitcher. Um... Does anybody know? Oh, Sobchak. Oh, I keep clicking. Yep, Scud's player is in the World Series. Wow. Congrats to the Boise Raptors. You have moved on. Now we got another game seven. Yes. And the Apex won. Check that coverage as well. And the series MVP was Tony Larios. How did Mrs. Hummus God do? One and two with a 5.4 ERA. Not bad. Who knew? And who knew had a, had a pretty good series? Who else you got? Can't recognize anybody. Oh, we could check the short lists. And now on the stars, oh no, on the uh, Raptors, we saw Scud's player, among others. So maybe show all elimination games, maximum of three. Uh, Raptors lead the series. Raptors win both games at Indy. Now they get to go home for three straight games. The Raptors are up 3 nothing. Oh, with the Mrs. Hummus God on the mound. Let's get a prediction. Who will win game four? Indy. Boise. Yes. So Boise's up three nothing. Actually, I'll say. Yeah, it just shows that Boise's up three nothing. Yes, no makes no sense. Oh yeah, I got chosen. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. All right, predictions up for game four. We're gonna show all elimination games maximum of three. We're gonna have it on like crazy speed, if we can. I don't know if I could find it. Very big to do. Very fast. I like very big balls. 
Yes. Um, yep. Perfect. Everything should be good with the visuals. I just raised it to very fast, I think. Super fast. Lightning is like instant. Still got people betting. Boise's up 3 nothing. If they win, says it right here. If they win, they are champs, Indy. If they win, they have seven championships. I actually want to see the index while we're here. Uh, so, oh, they both have six. So no matter what the result of this World Series, somebody will have the most all time, uh, which is pretty fascinating that we get to see this happen live. A tail of the tape. Looks like Indy's got the edge. And pitchers do bat. <laughs> uh, this is not like the PBE. Remember, injuries are off. Um, so no risk of pitchers getting hurt. They could probably stay out there longer than they typically would. Um, almost done with the bet. Indy, the underdogs on the road, you know, have to fight to get swept. Fight back to get to not get swept. Walter Sobchak, Scud Muffins player, easily Hall of Famer, could win World Series MVP if the Raptors win. It'd be his first championship, to my knowledge. Um, here we go. Oh, this is deep. And that's at the wall. That's Yin with a... And the Apex get a triple to start it off. So, pretty strong showing at the beginning. But that's a ground out for Diaz. Oh, and this is hit deep. What a grab! But the Apex are on the board. one nothing. That was Larios. Salazar grounds out. And that ends the inning. We're going to go Raptors now. They win their champs. Oh, that's good contact against Mrs. Hummuscott. What are the odds that you're pitching right now? We said we're going to slow down season five. We we This was all just randomly happenstance. Oh, it's a hit for Ruiz. It's a double. And the goat, one of the goats, Sobchak. You get him to pop out. The Apex are holding on to this lead. It's a walk. Another walk. Hugo Butler is in some trouble. Strikeout. That's out number one. That's a line out for out number two. And the pitcher. Oh, the pitcher! Mrs. Hummus got. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Kidding. Pitchers who rake. The GOAT. Bunky Bianca. It came my wife. Congratulations. Wait, I'm <laughs> Are you my wife in VCL? We were never teammates, so that'd be difficult, right? I hope we're married. That's true. So, ground out, strike out. And Mrs. Hummuscod's having a game. And that's a base hit, though, for Lopez. Stolen base is easily in there. Safe. Oh, and a drop third strike. But they get the out at first. And Indy. Still up to nothing. Diaz will strike out looking. That's a strikeout swinging for Larios. And a quick round out. So, one, two, three for Indy. Now, Boise will line out. That's Butler, the pitcher. Mendez pops it up, pops it out. Mrs. Humscott having an incredible outing. That's in the gap. That's a beautiful hit. That's at least two. And it will be a double for Tanaka. Ruiz. That drops for a base hit. 96 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> Ruiz with the RBI with two outs. A 3-1 count. Another base hit. This was the GOAT. Sobchak. Scud Muffin 19. Tony Rodriguez back to the pitcher in a ground out. So only give up a run. Can Indy hold on to fight off getting swept? And this is a pop out for Lopez. Easy out. 
Easy ground out of Salazar. Hugo Butler still in. And a pop out for Dominguez. And the bats gone to sleep for Indy. Boise out hitting Indy by three. It's f six to two on hits. Here we go. Will they keep Mrs. Thomas Scott in? They will. Oh, they get the lead runner. Great play by Bucky Bianca. Well, that's in the gap, though. That's Salgado. Will they tie it up? They will. Oh, they get the out at third. Wow. They So they get something out of that, but still give up a run. That's a strikeout for the pitcher. Throwing pepper. That was a 96-mile-an-hour slider. But, yes, it is tied here in game four. And that's going to be a lineup. Remember, the Boise Raptors win. They are champs. Maybe I should put that in the text box. Wow. Too late. Some people know. But Boise's up 3 nothing, And that's a ground out. And uh, Boise, uh, Indy's bats. Only two hits. Somehow tied. Mrs. Summerscott gets a line out. That's a pop out, out number two. That's a base hit for Ruiz. And Boise can take the lead with a, a base hit from Sobchak. Oh, Sobchak! The hero for Boise, or could be looked at as the hero. A two-run blast. The fifth homer of the postseason for Sobchak. First one today. And now a pitching change. Mrs. Thomas Scott has been removed from the game. A walk now for Tony Rodriguez. Ghost pitcher. Ghost pitcher. That's a line out for Hunter. How does Indy respond? They were the, they did score the first two runs of the ball game. And that's a catch. Oh my. Tanaka. Full extension. And a strikeout looking. Oh man. It's brutal. Hugo Butler. Ooh, Bean to Salazar upstairs. Lopez, though, easy ground out. The clock's ticking on Indy. That's a pop out for Lopez. Salgado. Hit hard to right. That's caught. Round number two. What was that? The easy out. <laughs> From the dugout, couldn't even see it. And Indy got a score. There's a base hit for Salazar. Do you believe? Oh, fouled off. They show fouls now? 5 4, but not the 3. Oh, and a stolen base is safe, though. Delacio needs some. There's a base hit. Go, go, go. Oh, and the runner parks at third. Oh, the hesitation may have cost him. So the pitcher now will probably get a pinch hitter. Yep, Murata. Strikeout. Oh, swing and a miss according to the write up. Zin, it's deep and it's gone. Are you kidding me? Jin Fon Zin. Wow, Indy. Claws their way back with the swing of the bat. They were down two. Now they're up one. It's 5 4. Ground out from Diaz, but Indy. That was kind of miraculous given that they're down 3 0. Another pitching change. Alex Lemus against Oscar Mendez. That's a ground out. Oh, we're kind of blocking the right up. My bad. There we go. Much better. Just noticed that. Sorry, y'all. Here we go. And a pop up. And they get him out. You just gotta gotta add some insurance runs if you're Indian Boise. Gotta shut them down and get to the bottom of the eighth and tie it up. You don't want to let the series continue if you have to. Or Parquad's playing Robo Quest. That's a base hit for Larios. Salazar with a strikeout. Lopez, one out. And that's a pop out for out number two. Salazar. Oh, pitching change. Tyrese. With one on. Great decision to put in Tyrese. Forces the ground out. Here we go. Kadar Gathing against the GOAT. Ooh. 2-2 pitch. Hit him. 
hit a two-run homer last time out. Maybe that was for showboating. Like payback. That's a line out for out number one. Hunter will strike out. Yes, ghost pitchers have been on a tear. Soto. Oh, my. The ghost hitter. That's a two-run blast. And they respond with their own home run. This is a two-run shot to make it 6-5 off of Kadir Kading. The reliever, the bullpen, giving up big runs. And this will be it. Can they score a run to extend this game? That's a base hit. Tying run at first. That's Dominguez. Carlos Dominguez. Now Lionel Delacio. That's another base hit. Advancing to third. Woo. So Ventura just needs to pop it up. Oh, another pitch, uh, pitch hitter. Oliver. Oh, it's deep. Orlando, Alivas, the three-run blast, and Indy at Boise Grounds stuns the crowd with a three-run shot. It's eight to six. Omar Martinez checks in, and that's deep, and that's gone. Are you kidding me? Zinn with a new pitcher in, back-to-back -back shots, and Indy is fighting off Getting swept as be as best they can. One out for Diaz. I'm not bad. No, you, you got checked out of the game because you're done pitching, so you can't bat either. Larios on first. Is that double play? And it is. Oh, no, it's one out. So they're going to walk Lopez with Larios on second. Salazar, the hit and run. And they get the out at first. And Boise... They responded last time by taking the lead in the eighth. Can they do it again? It's Jonathan Reese. Oh, what a grab! Unbelievable. What? I've never seen that. Lopez. Oh. Mendez. Sixth homer of the postseason. That one keeps them alive. Jonathan Reese gets the ground out. Here it comes. Last out. Can they do it? Apex to force a game five. A game six. And they do. A game six, five. I mean. So it's 3-1. The, re the reverse sweep is still alive. And the Apex. Stun the home crowd. Get the first win of the World Series. Their first win. Now it's 3-1. And they win 9-7. And we'll go check out the next game. Put the prediction up now. Who will win game five? Boy, three. Um. So Boise's up 3-1 still, but Indy gets to live for one more game at least. And uh, it's a pretty strong effort from Mrs. Hummus God, considering you know all the runs given up, but the offense helped her out big time. Who's the player of the game? Let's check. Not me. It was Fiend, that, that player who came in for Indy yeah. and hit that huge home run. Uh, four RBI on the day. Wow. I wish we had the WPA thing. I gotta turn it on. Um, but let's get this prediction up for two minutes. <laughs> yes, uh, invisible players is an OTP twenty four thing. Um, I think the more I think when a player has never been seen, they start off as hidden. Then when they come back around, they get appeared. Um, uh, let's check out playoff coverage and see who's pitching uh, tomorrow in Boise. So it would be the last game in Boise if Indy were to win. We'll get the tail of the tape. Indy, Indy, Boise's got the advantage, including Sobchak, who had a great game. This should be a good one. Um... I want to see something though. If I went to the short list and I went by team, 
How many is Indianapolis has two, two pitchers. Who knew who we didn't see last game? And you. And then on the Boise side, you got two players as well, which we noticed Snek and Scud. And that's it. So a two on two affair in the last series of the night. Um, looks like 500 points for each. Maybe we just get started and y'all could still bet live betting. Mm. Or is that skewing it? We'll start it right when it ends. Keep betting, folks. Only a thousand points bet. We got a, possibly a couple more, depending on if Boise, if Boise can take care of business, then it's over. Here we go. And very soon, we shall start game. It's locked in. Pretty much a split the room. About 500 channel points for each. Beam with a strikeout. Andrew Payne in for Boise. That's a fly out. Oh, that's deep for Larios and Indy. The comeback kids. Down 3-1. They take a 1-0 lead. That's a walk for Salazar. Lopez with a strikeout. That ends the top of the first. Base hit for Mendez. I wonder if I put it... How fast would it be if I put it on the fastest? Lightning. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. Pop out for, Ruiz, uh, for Tanaka. Pop out for Ruiz. Two outs. For Sobchak, who drops a base hit. And Boise ties it up. That's a strikeout for Rodriguez. We're going to the top of the second. This may be too fast. Oh, Bach. I, yeah, I couldn't even tell what happened there. It's unfortunate. Interesting that lightning is too fast, but super fast. <laughs> Not quite fast. <laughs> right. They need a, a one in between. That's a ground out for Delacio. And the pitcher also grounds out. So still tied 1-1. Hunter. Ground out. So both pitchers standing up and standing in. Oh, that's a base hit for Lopez. The stolen base is saved. Boise. <laughs> and that's a line out. Oh, and the tagged up. Tag up worked. The pitcher now. Payne. Oh! Back-to-back -back games where pitchers get RBIs. This time it was Boise's pitcher, uh, Payne. And another base hit is Mendez. Can Payne go around the horn? Oh, they won't. Tanaka now. Two outs. And that's going to drop. One run will score. Two runs will score. And Boise up 4-1. to one. Will they win their seventh championship? They have a new pitcher. Apex dude. Oh, and another base hit. This might get ugly. Five to one. That was Ruiz. Oh, and Sobchak. That's Scud with a walk. And that's up the middle for Rodriguez. This is getting out of hand. Strikeout finally for Hunter. And that ends the inning. Zine with the line out. Diaz with a base hit. Can Indy turn it around? They need to do it now. Strikeout for Larios. Oh, a base hit. Nice hit for Salazar. Lopez. Oh, what a grab. Wow. Great catch by Scud Muffin. Sob chat. It's a pop out for Lopez. Salgado pops out as well. So two outs recorded for Edwin. And that was easy. Three straight. So we'll go to the fourth with Salazar. That's a ground out. That's a pop out. And a base hit. Delacio moving to second. Oh, they got it. Can they turn it around here? Are they going to... Oh, a pinch hitter. Olivas. Ah, uh, not deep enough. It's a pop out to left. They leave a runner on. Josiah Webb in for Indy. 
having a really good playoff, uh, decent playoffs. Look, out number one, Tanaka, out number two, and now Ruiz. That's a base hit. So now we'll get to see Sobchak, who strikes out. Wow. Now we're in the fifth in Indy. Got to get a run. At least a few. It's a ground out. Diaz. Diaz. Ground out. So, Boise looking like the champs if they can hold on. It's a pop out. Yeah, Indy's offense is falling asleep at the wheel. It's out number one for Rodriguez. Hunter. <laughs> Stamina check. Two outs. And it's the third out. So, Josiah Webb. Unbelievable outing for them, given what their teammates have been able to not do, which is uh, not give up runs. It's an out for Salazar and Indy. This could be the end for them if they can't get it going. Two outs. And that's strike three, so we're going to go to the six. And it's been all Boise all day. Salgado in this game. Got a hit last time, but strikes out now. And a strikeout for Mendez. So we're going to go to the seventh. Can Indy get something going? It's a strikeout. Andrew Payne still in for Boise. Another strikeout. And Ventura lines out to left. They go down in order. Another pitching change. Victor Herrera. That's going to drop for a base hit. Five, four, three. Double play. Great work for Indy. Oh my goodness! Walter Sobchak looks like a golf swing. And he hits a solo shot, and that may be the dagger, folks. Scud Muffin 19, the star of the show right now. Zine, wow, easy ground out. And Andrew Payne is still in the game. And 116 pitches. Oh, a base hit for Diaz. Will they pull him now? Let's see. And they will. Tony Ortiz checks in for Boise. That's a strikeout for out number two. Another strikeout. This is insane dominance from Boise in the series, in this game. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a single and a bait, and now a double. That was Hunter and Lopez back to back. So Salgado. Easy pop out. Can Indy hold steady? It will not. One run will score. Two runs will score. A pinch hitter, Aaron Brown. Aaron's party. Aww. Or Aaron's house. Line out. For out number two, that's Mendez, Tanaka. And a line out. So, last chance. <laughs> Indy's got to score eight. <laughs> last chance to score eight runs. <laughs> Here we go. It's Super Califragilistic Espialidocious Snack. So we got to see both PBE players pit, play in this game from the Raptors. One out. Two outs. Can Snack do it? King Cobra. And they did it. Boise is your seventh, wins their seventh World Series in franchise history in the VCL. Congrats to Boise and Indy. Fell short. Andrew Payne. Dominated their offense. Wow. Seven innings. That's the story. Obviously, Sobchak and company. Uh, a lot of good offense. Nine runs total. Two RBI from three different players. And the offense was just absolutely atrocious for Indy. So, congrats um, to Boise and their relievers. Unbelievable from them as well. And Walter Sobchak is your series MVP at Scud Muffin 19. So we'll hit save. We'll score this out for Boise. And now we're going to go to uh, Hall of Fame voting results. Oh, no. Uh, we're going to go to playoff coverage, the tree, and advance one more day so they get the crown. Congrats to Boise. Now let's go to Hall of Fame voting results. Sorry, babe. How's it feel? To be a loser <laughs> feels great. Most of us 
feel like losers. Okay. Only, well, <laughs> only be, most of us feel like losers because only two of us just won a championship. The rest of us did not. And uh, a lot of us are shortlisted right now. So congrats to... <laughs> yes, I can't imagine I did it. I know you just did it with Toronto. Um, Diesel. That's why I think he's trolling. Yeah, it feels bad, man. Um, I've never done that. With Seattle. I did it with Indy back in season 27 as a reliever. We went to game seven, and I actually had a great game seven. Pat Lacey sneaks into the Hall of Fame. Uh, the the uh, age of 38. Congratulations. That's a pretty young age to make the Hall of Fame. Two-time pitcher of the year. Three-time All-Star. Six-time Silver Slugger as a pitcher. So a two-way player. What? Wow. Hitting 26 homers? Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Oh, yeah. He went to music college. <laughs> what the hell? That's insane. That's a very interesting person to is that home runs given up? I think that's home runs given up. Uh, let's go to BNN page. That makes it easier. Career. Let's see your career batting stats. Uh, do they have it? Just pitching. Career fielding stats. I see pitching. Strange. What about for my two-way players, bro? Uh, I can just do it here. This is pitching sense. It's very strange. Add stat row. Um, are these all pitching? Oh, where is it? Oh. Oh, thank you. Wow. Holy crap. Great batter and a great pitcher. Sheesh. A career 291 batting batter. That's insane for a pitcher. Congratulations to Pat Lacey. That spent that took too much time. Uh so we're gonna go short list. Who ended at the top? It was top text, bottom text. Wow. Yeah, 92 war. And we're going to confirm that Boise's the only time, only champion that did it seven times under teams. Congratulations to Boise. You sit alone at the top of the VCL with seven championships. Meanwhile, on the opposite end of that spectrum, Vancouver, Buffalo, and Detroit, while have knocked on the door before making playoffs multiple times each have never won a world series so those are teams to keep your eye on as we move through um yeah we're gonna end it here though i gotta figure out this upload situation it's under commissioner office i think i just hit execute that's what the default was so this pushes it to enoch and then enoch puts it into the index I think he'll do it tomorrow or tonight. Just we'll if you have the voice chat league role, you'll get tagged. If you don't, you can go get the role um, from our role reacts channel in main server. Hmm. And get tagged anytime we go live on VCL. We do five seasons at a time. Hopefully it's not nine months till the next one. Season. We did four, right? Did five. Oh. It went. Uh, DVS won twice. Then Sarasota won their first. Then OBX won, and then Boise. Yeah, we're gonna check a few players once this is done.
and reggae rapping blue, green and yellow. Me tapping and me be making slow wine for me, baby. Speak, I got a privilege. I'm in the island with shout out to the good time crew all across the islands. Grab your shoes, let me two by two, and now we shine it bright like. Commentating on the song, fair use. It's a great song. <laughs> yeah, the song is great. Commentary, fair use rules. Looking by Aaron Carter. He lives in Fort. Aaron Carter. My bestie and your best friend. Dancing by the fire. Yeah. Um, can't believe I found this. Or we found it. You know, and uh, it's gotta be the best. Alright. Maybe a bit. It's kind of funny when you, you know, kill someone in Fortnite and then. <laughs> yes. I'm so glad you finished the sentence by saying in Fortnite. Yes, when you kill someone in Fortnite, you get to dance and they spectate. And so most times people will do a dancing emote. Right. And this has been mine lately. Every time I get a kill, I in Fortnite. Not in real life. In Fortnite, uh, I do this uh Ico Ico dance. When you kill people in real life, you <laughs> play this one. I don't kill people in real life. Ah. I'm the commissioner of a baseball league. That'd be a terrible look if I did. Ah, yeah. Right. He's not an assassin in real life. Isn't this song in the general domain anywhere? In the public domain, I mean. So you're not gonna play Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> Take me out no. to <laughs> I'm pretty sure this song me is out with the crowd. Like owned by the public at this point. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. <laughs> I don't care if <laughs> the I gritty, yeah, that, that's, that, I, it hasn't been in the store. I, I probably would like getting the gritty. Solely because I actually could hit the gritty in real life. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out I will have to see that later. Yeah, maybe we'll record me doing the gritty and no. post it in the server, no. I will save you from that. <laughs> hit the, who, that, the people? The innocent people who don't deserve to watch me do the gritty. I mean, take me out with the not the worst. Crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, yeah. two, Which is three strikes you out at the old ball. The reason why I should be in the public domain is because it's set, it's sang at every single baseball game played. And it's very old. And it's very, very old. It's like, I don't think they can keep songs copyrighted after, like, 50 years or something like that. I think there's, like... A, a time limit. Yeah. Where, family, where like, the, the heirs can get royalty payouts. Yeah. In perpetuity? I mean, my goodness. Yeah. Like all of those old classical songs are all fair use. Yep. Yeah, like all the uh, like Canon and D's and stuff, mm -hmm. Mozart. For release. <laughs> if we oh fundraiser goal okay I like that if we hit five thousand in in the charity event. Uh, I post a video, we post a video of me hitting the gritty in announcements. The video itself is an at everyone post. I mean, hey, people would be warned ahead of time. It wasn't like it'd be a surprise. I mean, this is the warning? No, I'm saying like it would, uh, it would be the, the milestone would be posted as, as like it's a separate post. So yeah, the fair, I mean, the um, copyright rules are 75 years, but you can keep it going if you still own it. The thing is like... Mind diamonds while hitting the gritty. <laughs> is that a vile song? It probably is. Who wants to hear Christmas music? Anybody? No. I mean, we are approaching December soon. Only if it's Jingle Bell Rock. 
Okay. Not by Mark Trelawney. Yeah, I know. The old school one? Yeah. No, not the trap remix. Okay. <laughs> Wait. But... Wait, I want to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Could be bad, folks. Oh, this is dope. Terry, Terry, you feel? Yes, no? Yeah, this isn't the best thing I've ever heard. It just makes me want. Please change this. Let me check the Ah, oh, that made it worse. <laughs> or just put you. Or just put you on. There's our Christmas tree. Well, we. I think people know we're going to be watching football after. This is interesting. Well, we have to comment on it because it's fair use. What do you think about this song? This 
very James Bondy. Huh? Yeah, like it seems like it'd be in a movie towards the end. Or the beginning crazy scene. Was that free Ralu? You fell asleep for three hours? I'm only slightly jealous. Part of me wishes I napped today. Yeah. Tonight we should. Sleep for three hours? Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah. What's up, Fetty? That Chipotle in our neighborhood used to be. Yes, you're allowed to talk in the VC. It should be. Are are you not? Oh, there you go. Yeah, on. what's good, homeless? What's good, Fetty? Uh, half asleep. What's good with you? How, uh, <laughs> how'd the stream go? It was good. Did you make? Did you make a player? You did, right? I did. I did. I have no clue how it did. Yeah, we're gonna check that. I mean, this upload's taking years, so. Um. Nice. Uh, sure. Thank you. Appreciate the offer. Yeah. Um, I saw your player definitely got injected. Uh, to this league, I just need to. I can't remember what team, so we're gonna check that. Injected? Are we doing steroids? <laughs> I've yes. waited four years for this. Colby <laughs> introduced that a while ago. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a crazy <laughs> rule. I still think it'd be so fun, but I know it'd be dumb. I'll put a poll. In no, I don't want steroids. I just want to claim regret. I just want to claim other people's regressions. That's all I want. <laughs> Become the Grim Reaper of PB. Exactly. Should the PB? Oh, I mean, come on. Yes. <laughs> so the way steroids was pro proposed was, you know, you, you get extra TPE, obviously, and you pay for it. But every year at the end of the year, there's like a random rolling of the dice, and yeah, like, yeah. You may randomly get caught based on where your dice roll lands. It's like, I guess, like a D&D &D die or whatever. Um, Basically just rolling the fucking coin on getting caught. Yeah. And uh, if you get caught, then you lose a bunch of TPE, right? And you get, like, fined or something. Yeah. You can't get... I don't think... There was no suspension <laughs> rule, but it's just like a... Yeah, you get, you get dinged a bunch of TPE. Like, probably... I think... The rule was like double what you it's, added. It's funny too because if you ended up like doing steroids for a long time and you never get caught, but like people could see it, then you're always just like a tarnished career. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you literally have an asterisk. It's like this dude had 750 home runs, but he did <laughs> he did steroids his entire career. Uh, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder what how the Hall of Fame voters would treat that. Because, like, we know they took steroids. I mean, it's kind of the same way Barry Bonds got treated, right? Right. I think Barry Bonds be is a like, Hall of Famer in my eyes. Oh, of course he is, but, you know, everybody who does baseball voting is an old guy, to be honest. Yeah. No, the, the, vo the voters stink. The voters stink in all, all the Hall of Fames. I mean, Zach Thomas had better stats than Brian Urlacher, and uh, Zach Thomas had to wait like seven years to get in. Um, something ridiculous. Where obviously Erlocker got first ballot because he was like, you know, all the mar the marketing golden boy. But Zach Thomas, at a, pretty much at every stack category, was better. More tackles, more sacks, more picks, more defensive touchdowns. Like my problem with Hall of Fames in general is just like. Voters get, like, into their own heads too much. Like, oh, you need to do this, this, and that, and that, and that, and this to get in. And there's no, like, you know. You start trying to, like, one-up players on each other to have, like, a reason for why they should get in. And then it's, like, 
you know, you get people who did really good, but because, like, you're just trying to prove a point about who deserves to get in, they end up not getting the votes they deserve. They stand on some moral high ground, yeah, especially, obviously, with the steroids. And they well, overthink like, it. It's just like I saw, what is it, Joe Mowers on the ballot. I'm like, Joe Mauer, Joe Mauer should be a Hall of Famer. Yes. And I see a bunch of people aren't voting for him. And I'm like, why? He's one of the greatest catchers of all time. I mean, obviously, ridiculous. Pudge is probably the GOAT, but, you know, Mauer's up there. Yeah, he was hitting bombs early in his career with Minnesota. He was a cover I mean, athlete for, <laughs> like, Sports Illustrated and whatnot. Back when people I don't know how you Sports can't say, you know, he's a catcher. He had three gold gloves, three batting titles, six all-stars, five silver sluggers, and an MVP in 55 career war. He was a 300 career batter as a catcher. Wow. Like, you know, <clears throat> what's like, what's that compared to Buster Posey? Because Buster Posey should be a first ballot catcher. Yes, yeah, Buster and he's, Posey definitely getting He's him. worse. He's worse. I mean, not worse, worse, but like. Buster Posey is a career 300 hitter, but he only had 44 war. An MVP, Rookie of the Year. He's got the World Series, though, but otherwise it's pretty similar. Yeah. But you can't just pass over the fact that he has the MVP in a couple World Series. <laughs> hey, but, but Maurer has an MVP as well. The only difference is Posey won World Series, which, you know, that you can't really control that. I, I think Maurer's peak was higher, like... At his absolute peak, he was probably better, but what Posey had was the length of the career. He actually survived playing catcher for that many years. Eh, I That's mean, the tough thing about it. Maurer played for 15 years. Yeah, but the end got really, really bad for him. Yeah, yeah I mean, so out. did Posey. Posey missed an entire season due to injury, and then he opted out because of COVID. So, yeah, Posey should definitely only get in, ended though. up playing... Uh, Ravens missed which the field year? goal. Which year did he skip? He was hurt. I'm allowed to show 2011. Like the score of a game, right? <clears throat> On stream, but not the what actual is it? game, right? Don't they have the saying like any? I don't know what the saying is. Any accounts of the game without the express written consent of the NFL is prohibited. But people do watch-alongs. That stuff really gray, honestly. I've I've watched watch-along streams, like what, uh, you know what I mean? No, I know what you're saying. It's just the way they make it is like you can't you can't talk about anything about the game technically, but like. They're not going to pursue every single person that says something, right? Right. <clears throat> That'd be ridiculous. Just, <clears throat> it's almost done. At least it should be. It's been going for a bit. It's a huge file, it though, really obviously. Sucks. Yeah. I was going to say, it really sucks how they handle like the, the system. Like It used to be, if you were like a MLB content creator... um. They had, like, an entire library where you could, like, just find clips that you needed. And you could, like, um, what do you call it? You could, like, search them by, like, player, at bat, who's pitching, who's batting. And then they got rid of that. Wow. Well, commentating on clips is fair use. It wasn't even that. It was literally just to, like, you know, have, like, uh... I don't know. It was just like to have like stuff for players to analyze or not players, but like YouTubers to analyze players and stuff. I don't know. I miss Damn. it. All my all my favorite YouTube like YouTube baseball channels are gone. Well, not they're not gone, but like it's just depressing for me to talk about baseball now. You don't watch foolish baseball. Oh no, I do watch Foolish Baseball. I watch uh, Foolish Baseball, Baseball Doesn't Exist, uh, Stark Raving Sports. Who else? There's a few others, but those are like the main guys. Um, SB Nation. But, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, like I said, like it's just depressing for me to watch baseball because I'm not even going to have a team in a couple of years. Shout out Day. He hates me because I haven't mentioned John, uh, Johnny Bench in the catch a conversation yet. Johnny Bench is good too. Mike Piazza is the best offensive catcher ever, I think. You know Piazza was an Oakland A at one point. And a Marlin for like a week. And... Oh, upload's done. All right, we're going to raid. Uh, somebody was streaming. Uh, they stopped. Darn it. I don't think anyone's streaming out of the park right now. Unfortunately. Yeah. Either way, Johnny Bench is cool. Pudge is still the GOAT. Uh, I've always loved defensive catchers, too. Like, uh, recently, like, I I'm a Red Sox fan, so Christian Vasquez, that was fun to watch when he was on all those World Series teams. I mean, I've been... Um... I've been spoiled as an A's fan because we've had a lot of great catchers come through. Um, I mean, we were kind of weird for a little while with Josh Fegley and Luke Croy and stuff, but then we had... Uh, oh, man, am I really already forgetting his name? Um, catcher for the Braves right now. Oh, my gosh. Um... How many are oh, Murphy. Sean Murphy. <clears throat> yeah, we had Sean Murphy. Excuse me. Well, yeah, this is Sean fun. Murphy. Um, and Sean Murphy. We have what's his name right now? Oh my god, I, I haven't watched a baseball game in like a year. Um, Langolier. We have Langoliers right now, and he's like. One of the top in the league and runners thrown out. Um, and we have Tyler Soderstrom, which he's not a good defensive catcher, but he's like one of the best offensive catching prospects in a while. Uh, and then we have another catcher we drafted who's like in the minors right now. He was our first round pick in like 21 or 22. Love some good catcher talk. Love good baseball talk. And speaking of which, we did the five seasons. It was DVS, DVS, Sarasota with their first championship, then OBX, and then Boise. So we did five years. We'll do another five years next time we stream. Last time I streamed, I think it was back in February of 2023. So uh, hopefully it's not a nine-month gap. That'd be ridiculous. Hopefully it's much shorter than that. Um, and uh, we could see who could pass... Big Unit Babs with uh, the highest Hall of Fame voting with clap. Uh, but until next time, we'll see you Tuesday for the Tahini Classic, and then Thursday is already spring training. Thank you all for tuning in for all the, the draft streams, the award streams, and all the Prospect League streams from NASBASE. Um, yeah, we're going to sign out here. Don't forget to do your spring training task. It, it closes when the regular season or at the end of spring training week. So a week from today, it opens up tomorrow. So yeah, exciting stuff. Uh, we'll see you Tuesday for the tahini. Hopefully we'll give out 200 million to somebody for the first time. We probably won't, but there's a chance we will. And yeah, hope y'all have a good night. I'll be pushing the heck out of the tahini. I think we're at like 40 brackets. We're usually in the 80s or higher. So, uh, yeah, it's an easy way to make 500K and possibly even more, much more than that. But, yeah, I want to thank my beautiful wife, Bianca, for joining us tonight. And uh, Diesel, Fetty here in voice chat. I know Taco Cat was here. Dynamic was here. Uh, and this was fun. Thank you, Twitch chat, for being here. We'll see you again Tuesday. Until then, have a good night. Go Pathfinders. <laughs> Go baseball. Go PB. The P. <laughs>